Rajasthan, in northern India. Temperatures here regularly soar above 45 degrees Celsius, and the heat waves are getting longer. A consequence of climate change, says Shyam Sundar Jiani. For years, he's been observing how the extreme conditions have caused the expansion of deserts. Scarcity of water is a big concern of desert because we don't have groundwater, because it is in very depth and also uh, not good in quality. It is not usable. And as far as rain is concerned, every year we receive minimum rainfall in this area. Shyam Zundajiani didn't want to sit back and do nothing. So in his spare time, he travels to villages to give away free saplings of ancient indigenous fruit trees. These plants can thrive in the harsh climate. Today he's visiting the school at Bandaran village. He urges the villagers to take care of the trees so that they grow to provide shade and fruit. Work starts after plantations. But generally, people consider that uh, when we did plantation, it's over. But we, we, we say that uh, now our responsibility starts from that point. So I requested them to consider that now our responsibility has increased and we have to grow all saplings as a green member of family. These trees will give us fresh air to breathe and fruit to eat. We've learned that trees need to be treated as members of our family. Only then can they save our planet. Today, Bandaran villagers are also being given a tree each to take home. Once planted, they're watered with wastewater. Shyam Sundarjiani named his organization Familial Forestry after the idea it was founded on. It all started back in 2003 when Shyam Sundarjiani was a young sociology professor working at a college in Bikaner. The few trees on the campus grounds were almost dead. Along with his students, he saved them and replaced them with saplings. From then on, the students cared for the trees. The next step came a few years ago. In 2013, we started development of institutional forest and we started plantation over there. You can see this is a six hectare of land and having more than 3,000 trees of uh, more than 100, uh, 100 different varieties. It is most diverse institutional forest in any educational institute of Rajasthan. Shyam Sundarjiani pays for the seedlings out of his own pocket. He often ends up spending a large portion of his salary. While his peers focus on advancing their careers, he invests his time and energy in familial forestry. The dedication sometimes makes things hard for his wife, Kavita. She often has to look after their two daughters alone. Money is often tight at the end of the month. I see people with similar jobs living luxurious lives. They celebrate their children's birthdays in restaurants, drive big cars, have their own houses. Actually, that's how I imagined our lives would be. But the sacrifice isn't in vain. Shyam Sundarjiani has planted more than three million seedlings in the villages of Rajasthan in recent years. For a long time, his commitment and efforts went unnoticed by the public and authorities. But things changed this year. Since June, the media have been turning up at the tree planting, wanting interviews. The familial forestry was recognized with the Land for Life Award by a UN organization that fights to prevent desertification worldwide, the UNCCD. I've seen many activities that you donate a tree and then somebody else takes care of the tree on your behalf. But the idea of familiar forestry is by seeing a tree as a member of the family, you will cultivate the care for the tree. Therefore, the survival rate of the trees in the region where familial forestry planted is significantly higher. He's hoping the award will attract donors and financial support. He sees the indigenous fruit trees as crucial to stop arid desert areas expanding.
and keeping villagers from malnutrition. And he points out yet another benefit his work brings. Fruit-bearing trees attracts biodiversity. It increases biodiversity also because these trees attract butterflies, small insects, pollinators, even birds. So by this way, we can increase and we can uh, protect our biodiversity also. Shiam Sundarjiani has another idea that he's dreamt of for a long time, planting trees along roadsides in India's sprawling cities where space is scarce. Urban populations are in need of clean air and vitamin-packed fruit as well.